Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for the Tenere 700 World Raid. And it's being brought onto the stage by the supremely talented Adrian Van Beveren as well. Please give a big welcome to the official rider of the Yamalube Yamaha Rally Team. Adrian, thank you so much for being here tonight. I seem to remember last time uh, I met Adrian, he was up on the stage on the T7 concept bike. I think that was right, wasn't it, last year at uh, this event. Before I ask you a few questions, make yourself comfortable up here on stage. Eric, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about this prototype. Yeah, what we can say is, as I've said before, the heart of this bike is firstly the engine, which is very compact. CP2, so twin parallel engine, 698 centimeters cube. And uh, the torque, agility, lightweight is the base. And then based on that, we have been developing a specific frame, taking care about the seat height, because seat height is always a problem on off-road bikes, so we try to make it reasonable. I cannot say low, but reasonable. And also, we were considering enough tank capacity to get range autonomy, which is enough and sufficient to make long distance. And then after, you know, we have in our range already the Tracer 700, which is a very versatile GT bike, so for road usage. So this one is absolutely off-road bike. And then we have been considering everything we could connect from the WRF 450 racing bike of Adrien on that bike. So you have upside down front fork and a 43 millimeters diameter, which is really strong. And you have also, if you look, even the exhaust line, the, the line of the, of the pipe and position of the muffler is exactly oh, yeah. similar to our rally bike. Also the front face, so the protection is really efficient with absolutely the same eyes as the racing bike of Adrien. So everything has been done to keep the weight under control. So it's a light bike, pure off-road bike. And if you consider the WRF 450, this is really the, the older or the bigger sister of, of, the, um, of the WRF 450. So it's really a new adventure concept. Also, when I see the bike, because uh, you can see the riding position is as good when you are seated or when you stand up. And really, when you stand up, you feel absolutely comfortable and control. The narrowest of the tank make that you can yeah. play with the legs and control the bike very well. So it's very promising. And finally, the, the most difficult point of that bike is just to wait. Because really, <laughs> honestly, every time you turn around, you just want to ride it and to go for a ride. And, and uh, unfortunately, we have to wait. We have but, to wait a little yeah, bit yeah, for we have it. To wait got, a little bit we've got the colour scheme, we've got the carbon fibre bodywork, but it, it does look ready to get out there, to go on tour. Yeah, yeah, you can see when you turn around, you can see that the bike is already finished. And also, we wanted to keep the colour scheme also inspired from our Dakar bikes, yeah. because this is also our roots. Always we have been connecting our adventure bike to this fantastic race and, and spirit. And this is why, again, we have this combination which is close to our racing African bike. So next year, we will have this world raid because the world raid is about this testing program we wanted to experience. And we will go on all continent, America, North and South America, Asia, Africa, Europe, and all this round will be executed by different key riders. Some are legendary riders of Yamaha, but not only. And the idea is really to test the bike, but also to meet fans, supporters, people who love this kind of bike, and to learn from them to be sure that we can finalize properly this prototype for the final version the customer will buy. Where better to develop it? Off-road, yeah. around the world. Adrian, um, we'll talk to you about that in a second, but just a couple of months away, I think two months you were saying earlier on, before you go back on your Dakar rally adventure. Are you all set, all ready for it after what was a, a great year earlier on at the start of this year? Yeah, hello everybody. Um, yeah, two months like today will be the start of the next Dakar, will be my third Dakar. Um, I'm really happy this year. Um, we, we did a lot of work with all the team. Uh, we developed the bike a lot. I can tell you tonight that my 450 is going close to 180 per hour on top speed. So we are ready to, really ready to fight for the, for the top of the Dakar. And 
I, I, did, um, I did a lot of uh, navigation trainings. Mm. Uh, I did a lot of rallies this year, World Championship. I won some stages. So my goal is clear. We can't wait to see you out there as well. Uh, now, that sounds amazing in itself, but Eric mentions legendary riders like yourself are going to be out there and actually taking the first steps, the first adventures with this prototype. And after the Dakar rally, am I right in saying that once the competition's finished, you're going to take this bike on some of the same routes that the rally's been on? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, this is true. Uh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> will be, yeah, it will be definitely a, a different, uh, different spirit for me because I'm used to, to, to ride this, this, uh, this road of the Dakar with a racing spirit, you know. And uh, right, to, to do it with, um, with more adventure spirit with this bike, maybe uh, having more time to enjoy the landscape, <laughs> uh, will, be, will be sure a, a really great adventure. You'll enjoy the landscape. I'm sure you'll enjoy the bike as well. Adrian, thank you so much for the moment. Good luck for the next Dakar rally. Uh, it is a, a fantastic project, but I do know...